talk about the significance of the Occupy movement and how this fits into the whole story of food and hunger in this country. Well, th there's a fantastic, I mean, the, the, the food movement itself uh, is uh, it, uh, centuries old. Uh, the, the, one of the most interesting incarnations of it comes from uh, an international peasant movement called La Via Campesina. Uh, and they came up in the early 1990s with this idea of food sovereignty. Now, food sovereignty is the idea that communities need to be able to decide their own, you know, take control of their own food and agriculture policy. Now, if I say to you, communities need to take care of their own food and agriculture policy, you can say, well, Raj, what, what does that mean? And the response is, well, it depends on the community. You need to have democratic debate about how, uh, what exactly it is you want. In, in one community, in an inner city community, that, that debate is going to look very different from rural America. But communities need to be at the table to have that democratic debate. And one of the things that La Via Campesina found early on uh, was that in order to, you know, we can take our time to have that debate. But the one thing that we need to be impatient with is inequality. The one thing that we can't wait for is to eradicate inequality, because unless we eradicate inequality, we can't have a democratic conversation. And I think that that's a story that, that the Occupy movement is, uh, I, I think, reminding us of. And I think the, the Occupy's insistence on an eradication of inequality uh, is something that's, that they share in common with the food movement. And I think the food movement, uh, and particularly you know, movements like La Via Campesina, that have long been fighting faceless bureaucrats, cutting uh, government, uh, government programs uh, in the name of austerity. Uh, th those kinds of connections, I think, are, are ones that are very fruitful to be making right now.